Have you ever wondered what the universe looked like in its infancy? How did the first galaxies emerge and transform over time, concealing enigmatic secrets? If you have, then you're not alone. For decades, scientists have tirelessly pursued answers to these profound questions, utilizing cutting-edge telescopes and instruments. However, occasionally, they stumble upon something that defies their expectations and theories, something that challenges the very core of their understanding. This is precisely where GS9209 enters the stage. GS9209 is a galaxy that is so ancient, so massive, and so mysterious that it challenges our understanding of the universe. It was discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful telescope ever built, which can see things that no other telescope can see. This study, which was published this month in the journal Nature, is based on data from the James Webb Space Telescope, which is designed to observe the infrared light that comes from the most distant and oldest objects in the universe. So as we always do in this channel, we keep you updated on the latest discoveries and breakthroughs in the early universe. In this episode, I will tell you everything you need to know about this recent study that has revealed the properties and implications of this galaxy for the first time. One of the recent discoveries that puzzled scientists with its properties is GS9209, a galaxy that is so far away that we need the James Webb Space Telescope to observe it. This galaxy is located 25 billion light years away from us, and we are seeing it as it was 13 billion years ago, when the universe was only a fraction of its current age. What sets GS9209 apart, making it all the more remarkable and enigmatic? It turns out that GS9209 is one of the earliest and most massive galaxies ever detected. It emerged merely 600 to 800 million years after the cataclysmic event known as the Big Bang, marking an exceptionally early epoch in cosmic history. Although roughly one-tenth the size of our Milky Way, it boasts a comparable number of stars. These stars, with a combined mass 40 billion times that of our Sun, formed at a staggering rate before star formation in GS 9209 abruptly ceased. But just how rapid was this process? The study reveals that GS 9209 generated about 90% of its stars within a mere 200 million years after its birth, an astonishing average rate of approximately 200 solar masses per year. This starkly contrasts with the current star formation rate of our Milky Way, which stands at a mere one or two solar masses annually. Another enigmatic puzzle presented by this galaxy revolves around the question of why did it stop forming stars? Yes, you heard that right. GS 9209 stopped forming stars about half a billion years before we observed it with James Webb. This means that GS 9209 is a quiescent galaxy, a galaxy that no longer forms stars. Quiescent galaxies are usually found in the later stages of cosmic evolution, when galaxies have used up most of their gas or have lost it due to various processes. But GS 9209 is the earliest known example of a quiescent galaxy, which is very surprising and puzzling. How did GS 9209 become quiescent so early in the universe's history? And what caused it to stop forming stars so abruptly? Well, one possible clue comes from its supermassive black hole at its center, just like most galaxies do. But this black hole is not like any other black hole. It is five times larger than astronomers might anticipate in a galaxy with this number of stars, which is super weird. The study suggests that this black hole may have something to do with why GS 9209 stopped forming stars, the growth of supermassive black holes releases huge amounts of high-energy radiation, which can heat up and push gas out of galaxies. This could have caused star formation in GS 9209 to stop, as stars form when clouds of dust and gas particles inside galaxies collapse under their own weight. But how did this black hole grow so large in such a short time? And how did it affect its surroundings? These are some of the questions that astronomers are trying to answer by studying GS 9209's spectrum and morphology. A spectrum is a measure of how much light a galaxy emits at different wavelengths, which can reveal its chemical composition, temperature, and motion. A morphology is a measure of how a galaxy looks in terms of its shape, size, and structure, which can reveal its history and evolution. 
By analyzing GS9209 spectrum and morphology, astronomers can learn more about its star formation history, its gas content, its metallicity, its kinematics, and its feedback mechanisms. They can also compare it with other galaxies at different redshifts and ages to see how it fits into the bigger picture of cosmic evolution. So what does a galaxy like GS9209 tell us about the universe? Well, a lot actually. GS9209 is not just a galaxy, it is a window to the past. It shows us how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe and how they interacted with their environment and their supermassive black holes. It also challenges our current theories and models of galaxy formation, which do not predict such massive and quiescent galaxies to exist so early in cosmic history. GS9209 may represent a new class of galaxies that formed through different processes than other galaxies. Maybe GS9209 had some special conditions that allowed it to form stars very quickly and efficiently, such as a high density of gas, a strong magnetic field, or a merger with another galaxy. Maybe GS9209 also had some special mechanisms that stopped star formation very abruptly, such as a powerful feedback from its supermassive black hole, or a strong wind from nearby stars. These are some of the hypotheses that astronomers are testing to explain the existence of GS9209, but they need more data and more observations to confirm or reject them. They also need to find more galaxies like GS9209 to see how common or rare they are in the early universe. Luckily, James Webb is here to help them with that. James Webb is not only observing GS9209, but also many other galaxies in the same patch of sky. This patch of sky is called the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, or SEERS, survey, and it covers an area close to the Big Dipper constellation. This area was chosen because it is relatively empty of bright stars and galaxies in the foreground, which can interfere with the observations of the background objects. By observing this area with James Webb, astronomers can see hundreds of galaxies that formed in the first billion years of the universe. Some of these galaxies are even older and more distant than GS9209. Some of these galaxies are also very massive and quiescent, while others are very small and active. These galaxies are challenging our theories and expanding our knowledge of the universe. Thank you for watching this episode of our channel. If you enjoyed it, please like share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you want to read the full paper about GS9209, you can find the link in the description below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the universe.